in retrospect, uh, I think there are lots of lessons learned always when you go through something uh, like this. Uh, the most uh, obvious one is that we're apparently entering a different era now in terms of these weather events for those of us who are on or near uh, the coast. And uh, what we experienced far exceeded the FEMA projections for a 500-year flood. And so I really do think that it means we have to fundamentally look at facilities that weren't previously thought to be at great risk for those facilities that are certainly in the lower lining flood zone areas. We can no longer keep essential equipment uh, below grade. Uh, that was a very big issue for the hospitals that were severely damage uh, so much of their essential equipment for maintaining the environment of the hospitals, uh, whether it's electrical, mechanical, ventilation, even communications, was or in the basements. Sometimes even the emergency generators were in the basement or at grade and were compromised. So, so all of that needs to be addressed. So mitigation means moving that stuff up, elevating it ideally above the new 500-year projected uh, flood levels, uh, and that's uh, that's not an easy proposition. It's expensive, it takes time, uh, but certainly we're working on that. We all do uh, emergency preparedness planning, we all do drills, um, and those are important, um, and particularly the more sophisticated tabletop exercises can really help you think through some of the scenarios you might face. But as always, when you're in a real large-scale emergency situation or disaster, you encounter things that just weren't anticipated. So at the end of the day, I really think it's about having a strong incident command structure where everybody uh, understands who's playing the key roles around decision-making. Um, and I think it's also at the end of the day, important to ensure, and this applies to everything we're doing on the clinical side as well, that, that we have a strong team building in our hospitals because some of what plays out is a test of the cohesiveness of staff at all levels uh, under very stressful situations. Can they really communicate well? Can they collaborate well? Um, and, uh, you know, and I think that's a benefit of doing some of that team building that we want on the clinical side as well. The one thing that really helps in large urban communities like ours, where we have so many hospitals, is to have some uh, centralized means of really coordinating the complex logistics, particularly if you're involved in large evacuations, where you have to really then plan where those patients are going to, how do you track them to appropriate beds, how do you get the information that the uh, caregivers on the other side need to, to properly care for those patients. And in New York City, where we have a citywide emergency command center for these types of disasters and emergencies, we've developed a sub-component of that uh, emergency command center which focuses specifically on healthcare evacuations. It's called the Healthcare Evacuation Center. And key personnel from the city and state uh, health department, as well as from our local Greater uh, New York Hospital Association, are present, as well as personnel from our system and some other systems, uh, so that they can play a role in helping to coordinate those complicated logistics. And that, that really helped a great deal. One of the key challenges in a disaster like this is, uh, is communication. No matter how much you do to try to be prepared to communicate, once the cell towers go down, once uh, you find that your uh, normal analog telephone lines may be failing and, and even voice over IP can get overloaded or just not be sufficient. So you want to have as much redundancy as possible. We're even thinking about now satellite uh, phones because it is so key to be able to have intra-facility communication, inter-facility communication, and of course uh, communication with the public and your and your patients. So that's, that's really uh, 
incredibly important and something that, that we're very focused on for the next time around.